All right, so who am I here with? D. Barber from Houston, Texas, Northwest, bro. All right, so for the people out there that don't really know what you do, just explain a little bit about stuff and what you do. So, I'm an artist. I had to wish my ex good luck because it don't get no better than D. All this water on me, I sell the world. Slash entrepreneur. I make some of the best music. I own a whole bunch of which I suggest y'all to go do. I need y'all to get y'all's LLCs and go start you up a business and get the word. That's what I do. It's a little bit about me right there. I work. You said the baby, so you, why are you trying to be like the baby? I'm going to be real. My name starts with a J, but they've been calling me Lil D since I was five. Lil D, hey, yo. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yo, why you got, you got Lil D? Oh! Nah, crazy. Look, check it out. So, they've been calling me Lil D since I was about three. I changed my name to D Baby when I was, I think, 16. But the baby wasn't, he wasn't even out like that yet when I changed my name to D Baby. So, my name been D Baby. I just, I ain't, I ain't focused like I should have been. I ran a little late, you know what I'm saying? So somebody, the baby wanted to do this thing, so his name is the baby. I just kept mine the same. I couldn't change it for no reason, so but I fuck with him, though. He hard, I'm hard, same, you know what I'm saying? I don't be trying to get in the mix of everybody's business like that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't name my name to take clout off of nobody's name who sound like mine. And I never will do such a thing at all. Nah, I feel you, I feel you. So, like, what made you want to do music and stuff like that? Damn, come on, bro. Cigarettes, that's that's bad for you. Let me throw it out. Yeah, that's bad for you, bro. We in New York City, man. You know, smoke's out. What's, that? Yeah. What's the question you just asked me? You made me lose oh, uh, what, what made you what made you want to do uh, music and stuff like that? I was, uh... I got an uncle... He used to make music, he used to rap, man. Rap over beats, you know what I mean? Like, whole songs, not beats, like, DJ Screw, Pimp C, all of them just rapping over that song. And I just was playing, I would play with it, you know what I'm saying? I keep trying and just for fun. I just took a liking to it and I ain't stopped singing. I made my first songs when I was eight years old, I made three songs. I've been doing it ever since. Eight years old? Damn, so like, did you, did you, did you fuck with the song that you made when you was eight years old? Not no more. I didn't really didn't like it when I did it. I was just, I had did it and I was excited about it, so I listened to it. But that's when CDs was out. Uh, I was about to say you did that show on Garage Band or some shit. Like, no, no. Nah. Garage Band wasn't out at that time, right? I don't, I don't think so. But they had a flea market over there from where I'm from, and my uncle got recorded over there. I just, he took me with him one time, and it was a, it was a real studio though. Anybody you was listening to while you was growing up that kind of maybe inspired you or anything like that? Man, everybody from when I was born, which at that time, Fat Pat, Big Mo, and uh, you know, all the, all the age time, like Houston legends. And from before that too, I like old music. I say I'm like, a, I got an old soul. But from that time until now, I just listen to a lot of music. I don't just listen to rap, you know what I'm saying? I just, I just go with the flow. You know, that's all I do. What type of music do you listen to, type shit? Rap, country, pop. I'm a big fan of Nigerian music, Afro. Nigerian? Yeah, Afro, I love oh, Afro. Like Burnaboy and shit? Yeah, it's my favorite right now. And Ice Lady, it's my favorite right now. And Iris Star. I'm in love with Iris Star, for real. So, you know, you know, man, I gotta ask you. We in New York right now, so you know I gotta ask you, man. Like, do you like the whole, like, New York drill scene? I know you hear about it. I know you know a little thing or two about it. Like, do you fuck with it? Yeah, I love it. I ain't gonna lie. And I also love it out here. I was really gonna leave last night. I been here for a day. I was so tired. Everybody wanted me to keep moving. I was so tired. I was about to book my flight and go home, but I just took me a little nap, woke up. And I'm glad I ain't leave, because it feels good out here. I probably ain't gonna go home. New York, New York is one of the best cities, man. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Now it is. You see, the music popping too. That's my shit. I love it. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Um, did you get a chance to have a chopped cheese yet? I'm about to go get a chopped cheese right now. No bullshit. <laughs> I'm going right now. It is your first time in New York. First time in New York. Oh, first yeah. time. Okay. How long you how, how like how long you been rapping for? You said like since you was eight, right? No, nah, it's not like five. When you took it really serious? Oh, when I took it serious, I say fifteen. 15, okay. 15, I took it serious for sure. Well, then I, I, I stopped 
had to get myself together. I had to regroup and, you know, figure some things out about myself and, and get my money right. So sometimes you got to take a little break. And I got back to it after that. Went broke. Made money, went broke. Invested in yourself. Get some money, go broke. Invest in yourself, do it again. It's like a roller coaster, up and down tape show. Mm, yeah, say that. Oh, a dungeon job. So, like, where you from for the people that don't really know? I'm from Houston, Texas, Northwest. So how was, you You know, your upbringing, like your childhood, growing up in Houston, Texas? Hmm, <laughs> confusing. Confusing, always moving. Yeah, that's the best I can tell you. That's the best I can tell you, my brother. Confusing and always moving. So you, so your biggest hit to this day is like is Mars, right? Um, Like, did you expect Mars to, like, hit off like how it did type shit? I'm gonna be honest with you. Mars and Broken Promises are one of my biggest songs. I had both of them in my email for a year and a half before I dropped it. Because I didn't like either of them. You didn't like either of them? I, to this day, I don't like either of them. So you don't like the Mars that you, the version that you dropped? So why'd you drop it? Man, everybody I sent it to, they were telling me to drop it and I was like, man, I don't really much like it though, but... I recorded that song in the garage. In the garage? In the garage, it was hot, it was cooling. I was just bored and I just put a beat on. My boy sent me a beat and I was like, it's cool. So I just rapped to it in ways that I don't usually rap. Everybody just liked it. It's not my favorite though. Right. I'm trying up to it though. I see I see you um, linked up with uh, No Cap and Kevin Gates. How'd you kind of meet those people? No Cap. I, I paid no cap for a feature in the video. We just ended up clicking, and ever since, we just kept working. You know what I'm saying? I see him. He's in the city. I'm in the city. We link up. It's a good sign, good vibe. You know what I'm saying? Gates, I've been talking to Gates for a little while now, but I'm real cool with his boy, OG Booby Black. i just been talking to him, staying in touch with him, you know, and from there, I guess Gates just, Booby kept telling about me he wanted to fuck with me because he had always told me he fucked with me. I just... You know what I'm saying? I ain't take it serious. So since I ain't take it serious, you know, nobody else gonna take it serious if we don't. So, speaking of Kevin Gates, they call you the Mexican Kevin Gates, man. Why they why they call you that? Man, in the beginning of my career, I looked up to him so much. I I, I based my watch out for that thing right there. I based my my, my sound off of it. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people call it names that I don't even want to speak about. But what do you mean names? Like I ain't like. Uh, like, or something. like just stealing people's shit, but oh. he just he just gave me a, a the inspiration I needed to start somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Since then, I just kept going, just ran off of my, with the sound and try to switch it up as much as I can. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I did. I, I don't think they called me that no more, but they called me like I got songs. Something they talking about that sound like Young Boy, Gates, and everybody, and I be like. I feel like you sound more like Gates. Yeah, that's what they tell me, but I was just like, shit, if that's what, if that's what y'all want to say, then I really just compared me to some of the greatest artists out here, so I don't complain about it. Was he one of, like, your your, your inspirations growing up and shit? Yeah, definitely. Now, when I turned 15, that's when I heard of him. I was 15. And, uh, ever since then, I, mean, I, I love how the dude work. I ain't gonna lie, I love how the shit he dropped. He makes me deal with the shit I got going on inside too, you know what I'm saying? So what? Inspiration though, yeah. Very much so. Yo, you, you, why, you, why you got the same haircut as me? You know, that you, you got the coconut, the egg and shit? You the first person I interviewed that got the same haircut as me. Man, I've been having this business since I about 15, but I'm, I'm the king of this shit though. Can't nobody fuck with me on this shit. Once I get my hair cut, can't nobody fuck with me on the king of this shit. Nah, nah, I'm the king of this shit, bro. I'm the king of this shit, bro. Like in New York, bro, this shit, this shit is a, a is, 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 I'm the king of New York with this shit, bro. I'm the only nigga in New York with this shit, bro. I'm worldwide with this shit, bro. Ain't nobody fuck with me on this haircut, bro. Nah, see, since you you from Houston, so you don't know how it really works out here like that. You in New York now, so you got you, you know you gotta check in with the Eggers and shit. Oh. Well, stay right here, bro. I gotta check in with who? You got yeah. with the Egger. I'm 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 Mr. Egger himself. 
to be Mr. Egger. I don't want to. I don't want a problem with you, bro. You want a problem? I don't want a problem with you, bro. You sure? <laughs> <laughs>